the iPhone 15 Pro, that's history. Let's now talk about the iPhone 16. Today's video is going to be a follow-up video to that one. So, we now got more information on the iPhone 16, especially the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus. And we also got some more information about the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max. So if you are excited, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and supporting. Roll the intro. So, the iPhone 16. Yes, this rumored phone that is only coming out on September of next year, 2024. So, yeah, the iPhone 15 Pro, especially the 15 Pro Max, 15 Pro, they only came out like two months ago, three months now. And we're already talking about the iPhone 16, which is crazy for me. Like, we cannot enjoy our phones peacefully. But we got some news and information regarding these new iPhones that are actually quite important. And I've talked about in the last video, but now, like two weeks later, we got more information, especially on the lower end of phones, that are actually quite relevant to talk about. So, I think we need to start talking about the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus. According to leakers like Min Chi Kuo and Mark Kerman, we are expecting a new camera design for the iPhone 16. Yes, Apple is going to rearrange the camera design for the next generation of iPhone. Not for the Pro models like the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max, but for the normal iPhones. All of this because of special video. Yes, Apple is going to add up special video for the next iPhone 16 and 16 Plus. Currently, is only available on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. And I think you just go into your camera app, you just turn into your video, and you should have an option right somewhere here to turn on special video. I, I'm not sure, but I think it's available on iOS 17.2. And uh, yeah, you just turn it on, turn your phone to the side, and you recall special video. This is very important because Apple is releasing the Apple Vision Pro in the US in about two months now. And we need to have more media, more content filmed on special video for you to take advantage of the Apple Vision Pro. And so, currently, only the iPhone 15 Pro Max and 15 Pro can record special video. The 15 and 15 Plus can't. All of this is because of the arrangement of the cameras. Apple rearranged the camera on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. They rearranged the cameras, the wide camera and the ultra wide camera, in order for it to be parallel so you can record special video. Why? Well, because special video, you need to have two lenses to record two different focal lenses so you can actually determine the distance between an object and the other. So you need the wide lens and the ultra wide lens. And they need to be on the same parallel line. And Apple, if you, don't, if you know iPhones, currently doesn't have that option on the 15 and 15 plus. The lenses are on the diagonal. So you have one lens here and one lens right there. As you know, the iPhone 15 and 15 plus. And for you to be able to record special video on those iPhones, Apple needs to rearrange the cameras. And so they will. Now, currently we have three designs on the table. These three you can see right now. These three designs are the three most likely designs that Apple is going to use. One of them, it's weird. One of them, they put the cameras, just like the iPhone 10, in the same glass. So, it's weird. I don't dislike it, but it will be different. And I don't think that will happen. I think Apple wants to put the more conservative option. So, using the same design as the iPhone 12s. Easy, very easy to manufacture. Apple knows how to do it, and it looks familiar. And if Apple does that, well, that's the most reliable option of them all. But I would like to see the other design option. That would be pretty cool, some new changes, but I don't think that would happen because then it would clash in terms of differences between the Pro models and the normal iPhones. Would you do the same for the Pro models? And how would you do it? The same glass for the three lenses? That wouldn't look that good. So, I do believe Apple is opting out for the two lens situation with two different glasses. The normal conservative option. And I think that would be the best option of them three. But again, if Apple does this, are they just promoting Apple Vision Pro even more? A $3,500 headset that most people won't buy, especially outside of the US because you don't have the option. And why is Apple redesigning the iPhone in its fundamental core, the camera, for an Apple Vision Pro device that is costing $3,500. Simple, because Apple is banking on the iPhone to leverage up the Apple Vision Pro in the way that the iPhone is their more po most popular product. And so they want to use the iPhone's popularity to make the Apple Vision Pro sell even better. And so I understand why they are doing this. But again, wouldn't that be more useful if you were sold Apple Vision Pro everywhere? True, but they need to start somewhere. And then there's another leak saying that the iPhone 16s, all of the models, the 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max, are going to have 
a capture button. The capture button would be located right here, right there. You just pick up your iPhone, click it right there. It's going to be like a camera shutter button, but only for spatial video. You simply click this capture button, and according to Mark Kerman, it will start recording spatial video. This sounds believable, but why? Why would you put another hardware button on your device for just spatial video? That doesn't make any sense for me. Like, it's just stupid. Why add more complexity to a design, more places to actually fail, more fail points? Why? Why would you do that? You currently have the action button. Use the action button. Use the action button on every device. Leakers are saying that Apple is going to put the action button on the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus. Why does just like make the action button the capture video button? You can currently do so. so. If you have your iPhone, you click the action button for a long time and it opens up the camera. What's the difficulty to do that? Like with the capture video, just click the action button like long enough and start recording the video. I don't know, why are you adding another button? Remember when Samsung added the Bixby button and everyone was like very mad about it? This is the same thing. Why are you adding a special button for just recording special video? Unless, unless Apple has some type of plan for the Apple Vision Pro and the iPhone integration that we currently don't know. But these are the current status of the iPhone 16 leaks. New capture button, new camera design for the normal iPhones. But that's not it. The iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max currently, they have two different telephoto lenses. The iPhone 15 Pro features the 3X telephoto, while the Pro Max features the Theta Prism 5X telephoto. This enables Apple to zoom further on the same sized lens. And we heard a lot, a lot of people saying that the iPhone 15 Pro doesn't have the Tetra Prism lens because of space. And I was like, okay, I understand, but that's not a good excuse. I think Apple can put that Tetra Prism lens there. And it doesn't make that much sense, but okay, I accept it. But now, now leakers are saying that the iPhone 16 Pro is going to feature the Tetra Prism lens, the same one present on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and 16 Pro Max. So, <laughs> I was right. The iPhone 15 Pro did not have the Tetra Prism lens because of not just the size, but probably a shortage of pieces or parts for a Tetra Prism lens. So the supply chain could not produce enough lenses for both models and Apple chose to put it on the higher end iPhone. It makes more sense. And so now on the next generation of iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max, we are getting these incredible lens on both phones. This lens takes amazing shots and now you won't be restricted to the biggest sized iPhone for the best camera possible. Now you'll be able to choose the size you want, the 6.1 inch, the 6.7 inch, which are rumored to jump for a 6.3 inch and probably I think a 6.9 inch iPhone in the next generation. So yeah, a little bit bigger iPhones. I don't know if it's going to be smaller bezels or just bigger iPhones with bigger batteries, but these are the rumors for the Pro models. Bigger size displays, about the same design, better cameras, and of course, the Tetra Prism lens or the Telephoto lens 5X for both phones, not just the Pro Max model. And then of course, on top of that, there will be more special video features and the capture button. While I was editing, Mac Rumors released a report talking about the iPhone 16 Pro possibility to have a 40 megapixel ultra-wide camera. If this happens, this will be huge because the ultra-wide camera currently on the iPhone is only 12 megapixels. If Apple improves this to 40 megapixels, then, well, the new ultra-wide camera on this iPhone will be much, much sharper. Let me know in the comments down below which of these iPhone 16 models are you more excited. The normal iPhones that this year were a very, very good deal and next year are rumored to change that little, just the camera design for the special video and the capture button, or do you want the Pro models, the iPhone 16 Pro, Pro Max? And between those two, which is your favorite size? The bigger sized iPhone 16 Pro Max or 15 Pro Max, or the smaller sized iPhone 15 Pro and 16 Pro. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Oh, and I almost forgot to talk about this. The iPhone 16 and 16 Plus, 16 Pro, 16 Pro Max, they are all going to feature the A18 chip. Why is that news? We already knew that Apple is going to put the newer chip on the newer iPhones. Well, currently, Apple puts the A17 Pro on the 15 Pro and Pro Max and uses the A16 for the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus. And next year, there was some code found on iOS 18. But according to leakers that found code on iOS 18 development team, where they found that the iPhone 16, 16 Pro, 16 Plus, and 16 Pro Max, they're all going to feature the A18 chip. Probably Apple is going to name the A18 Pro 
for the 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max and the A18 for the newer 16 and 16 Plus. So no more differentiation between the chips. Like I predicted, when Apple launched the A17 Pro, I said they are naming the lower base chip from the lower iPhones into the same name as the Pro chips without the Pro designation. So it sells better. It doesn't look that bad that the iPhones have different year chips. But again, let me know in the comments below what you think. Don't forget to leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.